Hi, folks. Dr. Bob McCauley. I uh, got some blood results here. Did them all again, just like last year. At 60 years old, 2018. Let's see how I'm doing. So every year I go down annual physical. I just want the blood work, really. I mean, everything comes out perfect and everything. And uh, let's get into these. CBC with differential. That's, you know, it's your, your, your blood work, your red blood count, your, your white blood. Perfect. There's flags over on the right. They're all perfect. Uh, that, that's me beating the crap out of old age and disease. This is um, e, e, EGFR. That's your kidneys. See if they're working. Perfect. No, didn't, negative or whatever. Didn't show up. Anything. Hepatitis C, not there, no. Lipid panel, no. High cholesterol, you know, high triglycerides, no. no. We're fine there, 100%. THS, this is your thyroid. Well, that's in the range. How could that be? That's kind of weird, but. And here's comprehensive metabolic panel. That's going to tell you all sorts of stuff here about what's going on. Right in the range there on everything. Now, you know, again, I am 60 years old. I have never been on an education. Uh, I'm not anybody special. Anybody can do this. Here are my favorite ones. I'll just save these last three for last. I just, I just love them. Wait, did I get this one? Okay. Here's iron. I should be really low on iron. I don't eat meat. I don't eat uh, liver. I don't know where I'm getting my iron. Yeah, it's very important. Obviously, that's your anemia. It's an iron molecule at the center of every red blood cell in your body. <laughs> then we get into some of the fun, fun ones here. So this one, B6, vitamin B6, that's not high. That's off the charts. Now, how, how can I be getting my B vitamins I'm not as a, as a vegan? Not even vegetarian, a vegan. How can I get B vitamins? I mean, you know, I should be taking at least B pollen, something. I, you know, nothing. Or brewer's yeast, uh, you know, they got, that's got bees. No, don't do that. Spireline and chlorella, even though they tell you that's impossible, that's where I get it from. Um, folate, that's, uh, that's your B9. Okay. It was a little high, the B9. And then... then B12, that's the one they always tell me every year, no, you can't get B9. I, I mean, B12, you're, you're, it's absolutely impossible. Because if spirulina and chlorella, they have this analog B9 and it doesn't fit and won't get into your body and all that. It must be coming from somewhere. I don't supplement with B vitamins. I don't take a vitamin B capsule. If I did, I'd say, well, here's where I get my Bs. I certainly would never inject myself with anything. You know, a period. If I had to do that, I kind of think, geez, I don't know. It doesn't. Sound, it doesn't sound, I just don't like the idea of it. People do vitamin B injections and stuff. I mean, you have you have some serious uh, dietary problems. Uh, you know, you, you're really not eating at all the right way if you got to take vitamin B injections. Okay, B12 injections. There's, there's something really strange about that. So I, that, there we go. There's my blood work. 2018 comes back perfect. Everybody will ignore me. Uh, I won't get a few comments. Somebody asked me for about scientific studies and all this kind of stuff. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm not an epic stump study. Um, I, I'm not a control group study, but uh, I am science. I got it right here, and I do it every year. You know, it wasn't like, you know, oh, we've never seen that before. We've got some room for improvement. Everything's in the range except those B vitamins I told you. B, that B6 is, you know, it's kind of boom, boom, way out of the range there, you know, pretty high. You know, should I be concerned? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's the brain one. That makes you think good, that B, B6. Pretty amazing stuff. So let me tell you something. You can live on a natural diet. You do not have to spend the rest of your life, um, you know, going to the doctors and, 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 and wondering about studies and whether this works or that works. I'm a study of one. And what I do works, and I've been doing it all these years. And let me tell you something, folks. If this didn't work, you know, I'd be doing what was that what does work. I believe me. I'd be eating, yeah, I'd be eating beef once a week. I'd be getting some fish in there. I'd be getting eggs. I'd I'd be doing something different. 
because I want my goal is to be as healthy as possible. So what I did is I removed all animal. I went to a vegan diet, and then on top of it, of course, I just uh, don't ever cook my foods. I don't cook any of them. Uh, Plant-based diet, raw fruits and vegetables. And that's that last part there, folks. That's the part nobody talks about. That's the one that, in the end, it's the only way to, ha to put substances in into your body that have an abundance of electrons, that have not been denatured, um, you know, or chemically scrambled by heat or some other kind of processing. Um, and it's, got f it's full of enzymes, so it hasn't been denatured, essentially. So they have rejuvenated powers. I mean, the difference between a cooked carrot, that'll keep you alive, and a, and a, and a raw carrot, a, ju a carrot juice, for instance, if you want, this is rejuvenation. And the cooked carrot and all the other cooked vegetables are just mere sustenance. That's where I'm coming from. And I got the science to back it up. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time. That pretty much settled that. Visit us at watershed.net.